Welcome back and now for a film that released last week, Ayaram Vilakar. How on earth has it survived for a week in the theatres? It is so painfully bad that it shocks me that it is still running. Actually, it shouldn't shock me. It has Satyaraj in it and he has quite a huge fan following. And I like him too. I like him very much in fact. Such a fine actor with such a great sense of humour and comic timing. Truth be told, I sat through the whole film because he was so endearing in it and so was Shantanu Bhagiraj. Yeah, both Shantanu and Satyaraj were really earnest and likeable in Ayram Bilaka, but the plot was unbelievably nonsensical. In Madurai, Lingam's name itself inspires fear. He is a big kin kingpin there. He has some 54 cases booked against him, and the cops think the only way to get rid of him is by an encounter killing. However, the police commissioner advises his team to wait before taking any such drastic action until Lingam commits one more crime. Now, Lingam's rival is Ratnam, who of course is waiting for an opportunity to kill Lingam himself. Lingam has two dreams. One, to build a mill in Ayram Vilakunagar and two, to adopt a grown boy as his son after he sees the love between his old friend and the friend's devoted son. Very corny, but not impossible. Lingam realizes that life is not complete without the love of a child. Here comes Shantanu or Gopal into the picture. Actually comes into the picture much earlier. He is a daily wage labourer in PVR mills and lives in Ayram Vilakanaga where Lingam wants to build his dream mill. And he, that is Gopal, refuses to sell his house to Lingam's men no matter how much they offer him for it. By a series of crazy and utterly improbable coincidences, Lingam decides that Gopal is the young man he wants to adopt as his son. To win Gopal's affections, Dada Lingam poses as a mere mortal, Kanairam, and begins to hang out with Gopal. Gopal's love interest, meanwhile, is Mega, a noble creature who is not interested in credit cards or swanky fast cars. She instead wants her to be boyfriend, to be a member of the Blue Cross, the Red Cross, and also a blood donor. Some silly comedy there as Gopal tries to pass off as all these to win her heart. The film drags painfully as Gopal and Kannairam bond and as Ratnam tries to finish off Kannairam aka Lingam. Mega's Thai Mama who is in love with her joins Ratnam's camp since they think that Gopal and Lingam aka Kannairam are together. There's some weak comedy by Ganja Karpa, your regular fights and of course song and dance. Now, when does Gopal discover the true identity of Lingam is what this tiresome film is all about. But as I said earlier, both Satyaraj and Shantanu do such a good job that you grudgingly forgive director Hosi Min for his moronic plot. There's more build up for Satyaraj and Suman as they make their entry than, than for poor Shantanu who performs some total body workout dances. <laughs> 
Shantanu is talented but needs a good director next time to tease out his full potential. In this film, he's good but he ends up acting very immature and silly oftentimes. Sana Khan is no great shakes, very uninspiring acting. Neither is the music by Shrikant Deva anything worth even a mention. Don't bother watching this film, it's an utter waste of time with one star. A complete mess director Ho Si Minh makes, trying to combine action with emotional melodrama. It just doesn't work. So, dear viewers, this is my last The Big Pick. Not sure who's going to take my place after this, but I hope it's someone who loves the job as much as I did. And I hope you grow to like him or her, assuming that you liked me in the first place. I'm taking a study break and going abroad for some time to do a course on Heritage Studies. Very exciting. But I'll miss you all very much and I'll miss Chennai and I'll miss my baby NDTV Hindu. I was one of the first people to join this company and I have lovingly nurtured it and watched it grow and become what it is today. I still remember the day when I was offered the job and brought into the NDTV fold by dear Sharanya Devnath, Sajeev Chemini, Daraya Staraporwala and Sanjay Nigam. It was such a happy new beginning. team which was so carefully handpicked with whom deep bonds were formed as we learned so much from each other, laughed together, ate together, travelled together even as we worked very hard and diligently to produce some fantastic shows. bosses, mentors and colleagues who inspired and taught me some of life's most unforgettable lessons. shows, so many grand events, so many takeaways and so many indelible memories. Three and a half years in NDTV Hindu, three and a half I'll never trade for anything in the world years. Three and a half beautiful and challenging years that reinforced my belief that one must, in life, always look at the big pick. So this time, dear people, no goodbye, but I hope we meet again sometime in life. God bless and take care.